Hi guys, just wanted to uh, bring this video to you uh, just to show you what uh, different uh, split relays are available on the market at the minute. Whether you're doing a, a basic electrical setup for your camper van or if you're going to be running it alongside uh, a power management system such as the Sergeant or the, or the CBE systems. Um, now the first two here, uh, I believe are both made by Ring Automotive. Um, they just come in, in in different designs, different packaging if you will, and you'll notice that they're all labelled anywhere, so you can't really go wrong with these ones. Uh, the good things with with these as well, you can adjust the uh, voltage at which these products products kick in. Um, I don't know if you can see on this one, uh, on the Durant one, it kicks in at about 13.3 volts, which is about standard anywhere. Um, but for whatever reason you need to alter that, uh, you can do. I don't know if you can see on the back there, there's an adjustment screw there, and you can increase or decrease the voltage at which these do kick in. Uh, and it's exactly the same for this Smartcom as well. Um, again, uh, it's all labelled, um, 12 volt in, negative, and then obviously you've got whichever you need to come out with, which is your fridge or, or, your, or your battery. And again, there's another little adjustment screw down there to change the voltage. Uh, moving on to the next one, which is a, a five pin relay. A little bit more, um, difficult to, to wire up if you've not done one before. Uh, obviously you need a, a positive in and a negative on that but you also need to pick up a feed on uh, the ignition which you'd have to pick up uh, in, the, in well I, I would imagine in the dashboard somewhere all the vehicles are different but they're slightly more difficult to, to wire up than ones. Now the last one uh, which you're probably more familiar with the Durite one this is a 140 amp which is there's some power in this one. The others are only 30 amp. Um, now this is probably used more for people who are wild camping, so they need a good lot of power going to the leisure battery when they're travelling. Um, you do have to upgrade a lot of things with this one, uh, especially the wiring. Um, whereas these, you could probably use like a one or a two mil tri-rated wire. I'd probably recommend something maybe an eight or ten mil tri-rated wire on this. You need some heavy duty stuff on this one. And again, fuses um, 30 amp. On these three, as you can see, we've got 140 there, so you need some uh, some some decent fuses on that as well. Uh, but again, straightforward to uh, to set up. Just take the back off here. This black wire here, that's your negative. And again, everything's labelled positive on from your vehicle battery, and this one's going to your your positive on your leisure battery. Uh, but again, very very simple to to set up. Uh, but uh, if you've got any questions, uh, you want any wiring diagrams anyway like that on the, on the five pin relay, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.